double integral of x plus y whole square dx dy over the area bounded by the ellipse x square over a square plus y square over b square equal to 1. To evaluate this integral, already ellipse is drawn over here. And if you look at here, this negative a and positive a are the points on this ellipse. And you can also take negative b and positive b as the limits for y. But here, I'm taking the limits for x as constants, that is negative a and positive a, which becomes my x1 as negative a and x2 as positive a. So it is clear that negative a and positive a are the limits for x. And because x1 and x2 are constants, the strip will be drawn parallel to which axis? y-axis. Very good. So I'm drawing this strip parallel to y-axis. Now to get the values of y now, the limits of y, from this given ellipse, so this is y square over b square is equal to 1 minus x square over a square. So this implies y is equal to b over a square root of a square minus x square with plus minus sign. So the lower limit becomes minus b over a square root of a square minus x square and the upper limit will become b over a square root of a square minus x square. Right? And to evaluate this double integral because the values of x1 and x2 are constants. So I'm writing this on the outside of the integral, negative a and positive a. And because these are the limits for x, writing dx outside and dy inside. And now writing the limits of y on this integral inner one. So this is negative b over a square root of a square minus x square, which is in the numerator. And this is b over a square root of a square minus x square. And the integrand is x plus y whole square. So I'm just opening this bracket. So this is x square plus y square plus 2xy. And taking x square plus y square together. And now this is minus a to a minus b over a square root of a square minus x square b over a square root of a square minus x square this is x square plus y square dy dx plus taking this again with minus a to a minus b over a a square minus x square b over a a square minus x square 2xy there is a reason why I have done this. See, this is your even function and this is your odd function. And there is a rule that whenever the limits are same with opposite sign and having the even function, the integral becomes twice and lower limit becomes zero. Right? And whenever the limits are same, but having the opposite sign with odd function, then the complete integral becomes zero. So that is why I have done like this. So this is minus a to a, the inner integral becomes twice from zero to this upper limit b over a, a square minus x square. And this is x square plus y square dy dx and writing this two inside 
and this second integral is completely zero. All right. Okay. Now uh, solving this integral now, integrating this with respect to y, this becomes, okay, on the next page, this is equal to minus a to a. And what is the integral for x square? It is x square y. And this is y cube over 3. So this is twice x square y plus y cube over 3 with limits having 0 to b over a square root of a square minus x square dx. Now putting the values of y with the upper limit minus putting the values of y with lower limit. So this is equal to minus a to a twice. This becomes x square b over a a square minus x square plus this is b cube over a cube into 3 and this is a square minus x square with power 3 by 2 dx. Now again I know that the limits are same but with opposite sign. This is your even function. This is also your even function. So the integral becomes twice taking this to uh, outside so which becomes 2 into 2 from and the lower limit becomes 0 0 to a so this is b over a x square square root of a square minus x square plus b cube over 3 a cube a square minus x square power 3 by 2. Is it fine? Okay. So this 2 into 2 becomes 4. Okay. Now because this is the ellipse, I can put x as a sine theta. And then dx becomes a cos theta d theta. So putting x as a sine theta. So, and the limits, when x is 0, you get sine theta equal to 0. So, the lower limit is 0 for theta. And when x is equal to a, theta becomes pi by 2. This is b over a. This is a square sine square theta. This is a square minus a square sine square theta, which becomes a into square root of 1 minus sine square theta which is cos theta. So this is a into cos theta plus this is b cube over 3a cube and again putting x as a sine theta you will get a square common and 2 will 2 cancelled out so this becomes a cube and 1 minus sine square theta will become cos square theta and then this will cancel 2 will 2 cancel out with the power this is cos cube theta. And dx is a cos theta d theta where x is equal to a sine theta and dx is equal to a cos theta d theta. Fine, okay? Alright. So from here, this a square into a becomes a cube. And this is your a cos theta multiplied with this. This a will cancel with this a. And this becomes b a cube. Okay? When you multiply a cos theta, taking this a cos theta inside with the first term, then this a will cancel out with this a. Just for your understanding, I have just cancelled this a. Take this a cos theta inside with the first term and then this a will cancel out. So this is...
0 to pi by 2. This is b a cube sine square theta cos square theta. Multiply this a cos theta inside and this a will then cancel out. So I'm not writing this. I just cancel this a with the denominator. And then this is plus multiply this a cos theta inside. This a cube will cancel out with this a cube. And this is a b cube over 3. And this is cos the power 4 theta. So this is plus a b cube over 3 cos the power 4 theta d theta. All right. Okay, now I'm going to use the reduction formula over here. Uh, I just explain you how to use the reduction formula. Whenever you are having the integral from 0 to pi by 2 and having sine power m theta and cos power n theta d theta directly you just use the formula. The power of sine theta is m. So subtract this m with the odd numbers m minus 1, m minus 3 till you get 1. Okay. And then uh, n is the power of cos theta. Again subtract n with the odd numbers n minus 1, n minus 3 till you get 1 over sum these powers m plus n and then uh, subtract the sum with the even numbers so this is m plus n minus 2 and then m plus n minus 4 so on till you get 1 all right subtract the individual power in the numerator with the odd numbers and for the denominator just take the sum of the powers and then subtract the sum of the powers with the even numbers. And if m and n are even, both the powers are even, then also multiply with pi by 2. And if both the powers are odd, there is no need to multiply with pi by 2. And if 1 is even, 1 is odd, then also there is no need to multiply with pi by 2. So for even powers only, multiply finally with pi by 2. Similarly, for cos power n theta d theta. Again, power is n. Subtract this power with first odd numbers till you get 1. And then in the denominator, write the power and then subtract the power with the even numbers till you get 1 and if n is even multiply with pi by 2 and if n is odd there is no need to multiply with pi by 2 so using this reduction formula i get 4 write a cube b as it is okay now here both the powers are even. First checking, first I am having m as 2. So put 2 over here. 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 minus 3 is negative. So stop here. Again for cause. n is 2. So n 2 minus 1 is 1. Then 2 minus 3 again negative number. Stop here. Because you have to subtract till you get 1. Till you get 1. So in the denominator, just add the powers. 2 plus 2, 4. And then subtract the power, sum of the power with the even numbers. So m plus n is 4. And then this is your 4. For this. So 4 minus 2 is 2. 
and 4 minus 4 0 so stop here and because both the powers are even I have to multiply with pi by 2 easy okay and then a b cube over 3 the power is n equal to 4 so 4 minus 1 3 4, uh, 4 minus 3 1 stop you get 1 so in the denominator write the power as 4 because n is 4 here then 4 minus 2 2 4 minus 4 0 stop here because the power is even also multiply with pi by 2 if m n are even if n is even multiply with pi by 2 right okay so 3 is cancelled out with this 3 right and because i okay pi by 2 and this is 4 to the 8 that is pi by 16 here also you get pi by 16 taking pi by 16 outside where i should write or should i write at the next page okay so this is equal to 4 into pi by 16 outside and inside i'm having a cube b plus a b cube and then this is pi by 4 taking a b common I get this a plus b so the answer is pi by 4 a b into a plus b so this is how we solve this table integral for the ellipse